All right, so do you know how to solve this complex equation right here? Because I surely do not know what the heck is in front of me. And that's the topic of today's video. All right, so do you need math in cybersecurity? No, you don't need it. I will be talking about why you don't need it, when you may need it, and, well, my overall synopsis of if you need math in cybersecurity. All right, so from the industry perspective, math isn't necessarily something you need to know the ins and outs of, right? It's more so hands-on practical application of technologies and tools and concepts and all were of these words, but you get what I'm saying. You really don't need math in industry. All right, so I went on Indeed, and as you can see, if we take a look at the job responsibilities, well, the majority are not gonna have anything to do related or with math at all. In terms of getting into the field of cyber, you really don't need it. You know, you can take a look at any of job description and a lot of them are not asking for, well, cybersecurity math. So there is at times areas where actually you may need to know math and let me go ahead and elaborate just a little bit more on what I mean there. When I was a freshman entering into university and cybersecurity, there were a few classes I had to take before entering into my cybersecurity major classes. And those included math classes. So in this case, there are areas where you may need to have some level of understanding with math. And that includes if you're gonna go out and get a university degree in cybersecurity, typically a bachelor's of science. They're gonna require you to take maybe two, three, four classes of math in order to get into you know, the cybersecurity program. It's all just basically a filtering system, in my opinion, trying to uh, weed out students because it really isn't necessary once you enter into the industry. Now, there is one particular area in cybersecurity where you would need to have a strong foundation and understanding of math, and that is mathematical cryptography. So cryptography ultimately comes down to sending and receiving messages securely to you know authorized parties in a very basic sense. But mathematical cryptography has, um, well, let's just say at a high level, a lot of <laughs> working components that you have to be mindful of when creating a secure messaging system. There is a lot of um, complex math and probability that goes into it. If you wanna be a cryptographer, maybe work for a government agency such as the NSA in the United States, or you wanna be some sort of cybersecurity researcher who either is trying to crack the algorithms, crypto analysis, or you're trying to develop more secure algorithms, that's an area of math where you would need to know and be familiar with um, in cybersecurity. But ultimately, if you don't wanna do that, you really don't need to know the ins and outs of cryptography. You just need to know the secure algorithms to use. One other level of math you may need to know is if you're gonna get into the programming side of the security industry, whether that's creating cybersecurity software or you're being a secure software developer looking to implement more secure code, you may need to know the foundations of building an algorithm, for example, which I don't even know how to do myself. So that is something you may need to keep in mind. If you wanna be a programmer, um, that would be an area where you may need to know um, some level of math. All right, so it's been a short video. Once again, I wanted to do an update on this video. I created this video uh, three years ago and I just thought I would go ahead and provide a quick update on my thoughts with cybersecurity and math. You don't need it really, but sorta. Hopefully this video has been somewhat useful in your process of getting into cybersecurity. And yeah, until the next one, have a good day.